had such a battle with my hair, it wasn't even funny. One of these days, my hair is actually going to look good in a video. I bet if I looked into the mirror of Erised, that's what I would see. Me with decent hair. So welcome to week two, Gryffindor! Gryffindors are fiery. They value courage, nerve, and chivalry. And they're usually motivated to do what they feel is right. They are action-oriented, which sometimes makes them impulsive. But this also is part of what makes them such natural adventurers. And other than those basics, I don't think I really need to elaborate more, right? Because the entire series is about Gryffindors. But I will spl explain a little bit about this look, because I didn't do that last time. So, Gryffindor colors are scarlet and gold. So, of course, that was the focus. Flushed skin is associated with passion, which is why I chose the blurred lips and the orange blush. The cheek details were inspired by some really close-up shots of ancient Greek bronzes because on the cheeks it was worn and I imagined it peeling back to reveal like the shining fresh bronze underneath. And then I was looking for more inspiration and I came across Klimt paintings and especially the ones with the gold leaf on the woman's face down her cheeks and it was just like a sign that my instincts were spot on so I was like yep I'm doing it so hmm. what else what else I don't know um I'm wearing my senior prom dress that's kind of cool it's pretty it's a little wrinkly but well my mom and I made it. I guess I wanted to look retro. And I love this type of fabric that's like, it's like color shifting, you know? The wand that I'm using, shout out to my brother. He made this back in the day when he was super obsessed with Harry Potter. It's very cool. And uh, what else? <sighs> my favorite thing about Gryffindor is the Marauders. I think they should just ditch this whole Fantastic Beast thing, because I'm not into that. And they should just make prequels about the Marauders and focusing on Sirius Black, duh. And little baby werewolf Lupin and have them just I follow them through the first rise of Voldemort, which how can that go wrong? <laughs> and then it would be set in like what, the late 70s, early 80s? Like, you've got Wizards plus a period move film, like, and, like, featuring Sirius Black, like, sell millions. Another thing, where is the Harry Potter RPG? Like, I know I've said this before, but they can make so much money. I would give them all of my money if they just made a game where you could like design your character and like you just, you just go to Hogwarts and like do stuff. It doesn't even have to have anything to do with Voldemort or Harry Potter. Like I just want to like be a wizard at Hogwarts. <laughs> and I guess maybe like depending on your choices in the game you could unlock different main quests or whatever, so like, depending on how you choose things, you could have a quest versus this dark wizard or something, you know, or maybe your quest would be against some evil monsters, I don't know. You know, I, I think they should do it, I don't know why they waited this long. The technology's there! So like, Dragon Age style game, Harry Potter, that's all we want, that's all we want. Okay, so anyway, um, oh wow, there's a, oh, hello sunshine, there's a mirror right there and I didn't know it was reflecting weirdly off my face. I'm going to wait on the brush review, I want to still use them some more, 
and so yeah that is this look see you next week for ravenclaw